I think it's something which when you, you do it and then you look back or stand back and look at it, uh, you say, yes, the way this has been handled is good for both. Is good for the person who's cast as the aggressor or, uh, you know, who's done something not right. Uh, is good for the other person and is good for their relationship. Because it's not enough, I think, just to dispose of that particular incident. Uh, it also must be disposed of in a way which, you know, uh, makes it possible for both sides to build a better relationship. I never heard of mediation. But I was at that stage in my career uh, deeply dissatisfied. Dissatisfied because um, of the damage done by litigation. Um, not only loss in terms of, you know, time, money, that kind of thing, but simply the damage done to relationships. And the damage done internally, you know. So many cases I could see is scarring, like internal hemorrhage if you compare it to the medical thing. It's not how good your, your, your code of procedure works. The point was that everything the law does was adversarial. So it's not a question of intentions or, you know, wanting to treat people bad, you know, badly or being falling short in some account. It was simply the problem that we were subjecting every conflict to adversarial treatment. And therefore perpetrating violence on ourselves and on the other. Am I right? Violence on ourselves, violence on the others, violence on the next generation. Unfortunately, national politics, I think, and this thing prevented us from reaching good agreements. Otherwise, it's not difficult to work out a trusteeship concept where somebody can continue to own what he owns and the other person could use it. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. But all this comes from that question, why? Why do you want this? Ayodhya was, I mean, Ayodhya was a fascinating case to mediate. Uh, it was crucial for the relationship between the communities it had a history, there was law. There was property. There was property. So it had everything, you know, and it had loss of human life. We were very close to a settlement at one point. And even at the end, there was a settlement between you know, significant parties, but not everybody. But I think some things came through. You know, the first thing that gladdens me is that contrary to expectations, there was no loss of life after the judgment. There was no violence, no loss of life. And violence has a certain magnetism. No? And because it is violent, it, it's, it scares people who want to think and speak otherwise. One can see it. You have an incident a situation, something goes wrong, and then you have the raised voices on both sides. And those voices are, can be very loud and rancorous. 
we have not built up the strategy you know for the harmonizing middle 